transcending history and the world, a tale of souls and swords eternally retold. Soul Edge, a legendary sword and devourer of souls. Buried in the darkest reaches of history, it was brought back to light in the 16th century. The notorious pirate Cervantes claimed the sword as his own, setting everything into motion. Soul Edge adapted itself to its new owner by splitting into two. Possessed by the evil weapons, Cervantes began a bloody reign of terror, slaying all those seeking the swords without prejudice. Cervantes was eventually undone. Under the protection of Hephaestus, the god of smithing, a female warrior named Sophitia was able to destroy one of the swords. Shards of the blade flew and lodged into her body, causing near mortal wounds. Seeing his chance, Cervantes raised his sword to deliver the final blow. Suddenly, there appeared a ninja known as Taki, who rescued the wounded warrior. Taki defeated Cervantes in a battle to the death before carrying the injured Sophitia away. However, one of Soul Edge's two blades still remained. Perhaps it was fate. The blade fell into the hands of Siegfried, whose mind was twisted and unwell. of rampant evil, the evil seed. No one could have predicted it would become a catalyst for catastrophe across the world. Our story takes place in the 16th century. Okay, so I've been playing a little bit off screen before the Let's Play starts because I wanted to get my bearings with this game because this is not really a game you can just kind of jump in and play. So I've been playing several arcade runs and a couple of and a couple of characters as well. Um, the ray of light from the evil seed pierced. Apparently, the sky. we're doing this. I have no it's idea whether I should do this or the story mode, but I India. figured I should do this. And here we find another person whose fate was entwined with the two swords. Consumed by the evil sea, hey, it's yet still now. with presence of mind, a link between chaos and this world. You are quite the interesting one. Still, you will eventually succumb to the chaos unless you engrave a clear image of yourself onto your soul. K. K. Den. Okay. Create a character. Um, okay, well, I already did that. But that's okay. Uh, I'll make another one. Uh, I guess. Create main character. Okay, we're gonna do... Oh, uh, Paul. Thin. Um... With bigger breasts and uh, waist, hips. There we go. Nailed it. Um, nail face one. We're also going with. Can we get rid of this armor? That'd be that'd be pretty neat. Uh, I want the thin ones. I want the thin ones. Let's get this fight started. So you, are you ready? Care to dance? 
Care to dance with me? Yes. Care to dance with me? Care to dance with me? That's not what I want. Care to dance with me? Care to dance with me? That's too high. I think we're good with this, actually. Care to dance with me? Yeah, that's fine. Um, colors. I cannot edit your outfit at all, I don't think. Um, I'm trying to make something new here. We've already got a character, sort of. Yes, there we go. Eyebrows are going to be like that. Uh, like that. Eyes. Blue. 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 Lighter blue. Much lighter blue. More saturation. Less saturation. <laughs> Much lighter blue. There we go. Okay. Is that it? Looks like all I can do. Okay. We made our character, bitch, lady. She has armor. She is a badass. She's gonna beat your ass. Ah. Ah, yes. Uh, we want Tucky. Character name is... Maddie. I know, it's disappointing. I've moved away from Natsu. She's gone now. I didn't make a Natsu character, but she's not, uh... If you can keep a hold of who you are, you will be able to stave off the chaos. Now, arise. Take up your weapon and fight. Your life depends on it. Life depends on it? Of course. Alright. Okay. I don't know what's happening or why I should care. I don't know how this fits into the... Oh. 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 Uh, we're in India. Convergence. I'm a level one. So this is... Uh, this is like... This is like the... The whatever it's called. The freaking... Um, Um, the Legendary Souls or whatever it was called from... Oh my god, please don't make me narrate shit. Gasp! When I woke up, my head was pounding. Maybe it was a nightmare I'd had. But I could barely catch my breath or stop shaking. You're finally awake. It seems you had quite the nightmare. A man in a hood stood at my side. His appearance suggested someone quiet, but, but strong-willed. My name is Zasala Mel, and I know what's happened to you. You were greatly affected by the evil seed. Ha, huh, seed. You escaped, becoming a malfested. But I'm afraid you may not escape death. Ah, oh, okay. It's an RPG now. This is a fighting game, by the way. My character looks like she's seen some shit. Um, what is the evil seed? What did you put in me? It is a great evil that burst forth from the west and Europe as a torrent of light and rain down upon the world. Was that from Soul Calibur 5? Is that what happened? I don't need to ask anything. I'm pretty okay. 
If you wish to continue living, come with me. I will teach you how to extend your life. Okay. It's 1584 is the year, apparently. The next area is the Dojo of Drona, the mar martial arts master. Okay. Okay. So... Uh, change location. Oh. Oh. The Astral Future. That's the one I just did, right? So now... Now I gotta go... Now I gotta go up here... And do the training mission. Even though I literally just did... Like, three hours of... I learned of a highly respected martial arts instructor in India named... Jerona. Praise as the very model of a warrior. I made my way across treacherous mountain paths and traversed crumbling ledges before finally reaching my destination, a dojo surrounded by burbling mountain streams. To one side of the dojo, a diverse group of young warriors were enthusiastically, enthusiastically practicing with weapons. Having come from far and wide, I had heard many of them came from royal or noble bloodlines, unlike their master's humble roots. Hey, old traveler, what business do you have deep in these mountains? I told him my name, and that I'd come here to learn. Well, Maddie, I never refuse anyone with a desire to learn, however. I live in seclusion because I have earned the ire of the local king. If you stay, you too might find yourself with a powerful enemy. Are you sure about this? I nodded. He continued. Very well. I will train you. I don't know what voice I'm doing for this guy. But before we begin, let me see your skills. All right. <sighs> All right, let's beat ass. I know how to I know how to play Soul Calibur. Fucking A. I'm very aware. I'm very aware how to play. I just literally spent like two hours fucking learning how to play the video game. Unbelievable. It's amazing. Why do I get to Alright, I, I understand. <laughs> yeah, I know how to play. Thanks. What am I supposed to do? Guard. Oh, hold A. I, I know. I know how to play video games. Thank you. Okay, I'm guarding. I'm very guarding. You gonna do a low attack next? All right. I'm guarding still. Thanks for the guard. Oh, sweet. Clear. You're the best. Crouching guard, which means you push A and hold down. Hey, at least there's a training mode in this game. Completed! You're the best! Low attack, I know. Are you gonna make me do low attacks now? Reversal edge. Oh. Yeah, this is basically like a guard impact. Or, no, this isn't a reversal. This isn't a guard impact. It's that. Yeah. Come on, attack me, bitch. I definitely did it. Completed. Critical edge, which is right trigger. Want more? Farewell. Completed. Completed. I love the tutorial. I love how I have to do tutorial. Yeah, I know how soul charge works. Thank you. 
Get up, push back, and right trigger. And it charges your shit. Thank you. Hey, you remember how you already did this shit? Here's how you do it again. Beat your opponent. Alright, I can do that. Oh, look, you're stunned. Oh, you can. You fucker. Do the... Why is it so laggy? I'm bleated. You're the best. Around. Nothing's gonna ever keep you down. Alright. Alright, we're off to the races. Alright. Alright, here we go then. In the mightiest of loading screens. Oh. You appear to have mastered basic fighting techniques. Master Sterna's expression grew clouded. Let me tell you a story. When I first began my training, I had a fellow disciple who was slightly older and always looked down on me. I wanted to prove myself against him, so I learned a powerful technique. And yet, when the time came, I still could not defeat him. It turned out, I was unable to actually use the technique once the chance came. My folly became evident. Instead of focusing on learning a flashy technique, I should have worked on improving my fundamental skills. So I dedicated myself to practicing the fundamentals. When I was satisfied, I went to challenge him once again. But I was too late. He had lost his life in a war against a neighboring kingdom. This man had a son, who claimed vengeance against the one who slew his father, only half a year later. Now, he is a warrior, even more skilled than his father was. Take the letter of introduction. If you have ever had the chance, you should pay him a visit. I took Master Jonas' letter, thanked him, and left the dojo behind. Cool. Thanks, Mr. Guy. I appreciate you. You're a great guy. Alright. A training. More fucking training, huh? Great. It is good to see you again. Master Jonah greeted me with a warm smile as I arrived at his dojo. To what do I owe the pleasure? Come to train, perhaps? If so... I applaud your decision. Today I'd like to teach you about the many different attacks you can employ in battle. Of course. Of course. <sighs> okay. Crouching attacks. Man, I wonder if it's going to make us do every single thing. I, I, I know. I, I know. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Not what I wanted either. Alright. Alright, or don't do what I want you to do at all. Or don't do what I want you to do at all. Fine. There you go. That was the move I wanted to do, like a thousand times before. Oh, well, I'll do button attacks. Man, okay, yeah, I, I know, I'm very aware. Um, excuse me? Excuse me? Does that count? Or do I just have to do Ninja Cannon over and over again? I'll just do Ninja Cannon over and over again. That's fine. 
Eight way runs, man. I wonder what move I'm gonna do. Get fucked? Oh, grabs. I wonder if air grab counts, because that would be fucking hilarious. Oh, you bitch. I did it too many times. God damn it. I fucking suck. Too many times. Yeah. Fucking ninja cannon. I already know how to. First thing I learned how to do when I fucking played this game was learn how to do fucking ninja cannon. It was literally the first thing I fucking did. I was like, I'm gonna get in, make a character, learn how to do ninja cannon. Ninja can fucking overpower. Ninja can launch you in the fucking. That's all I know about attack types. That's not the voice I want. That's all I know about attack types. Next, I'd like to teach you about the effects you can inflict on your opponent using your attacks. Alright. I guess I have to go through more fucking training because. Fucking attacking too. I love training, it's my fucking favorite. Offense is not about attacking wildly, said that it is. In order to claim victory against a skilled foe, you must know when and where to use what technique. So, let us begin your next lesson. Okay. Guy? Guy man? Person? Thing? Listen here, guy. Countering. Um. Come on. Come on. I was waiting for him to attack, and he was taking his sweet goddamn time. Become stunned. Oh. I can be such a strong But it wanted me to stun. I was like, okay. Um. I don't know why I thought I could do that. Why is there still guard break in this fucking game? Lethal hits. I know how to do this shit! I played the fucking video game before! I know what I'm doing! Yeah, I know. I'm very fucking aware. I don't know why I have to go through the tutorial. I know, I know why I have to go through the tutorial. I just don't want to. Because I spent, like, literally, like, an hour in arcade, playing arcade, so that I could learn how to play the game on my own terms, and now I have to go through a tutorial to learn how to play the game. <laughs> hey, you should have done the tutorial first. I didn't know there was a tutorial, alright? I figured it would be like Soul Calibur 5 where it just thrusts you into the game. You've grown more skilled, but as you continue to advance, you will no doubt eventually find yourself against a seemingly insurmountable wall. Let me tell you from a story from my past, not another one. When I was young, I traveled the world as in... 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 in that word. Warrior. One day, I was in the distant north of the Ming Empire. China. I told Jonah that she, Why do people have such weird fucking names? He simply looked at me puzzled. Is it really? Well, wherever it may be, I was there. And let me tell you, there was a tribe of fierce warriors. It was during my time with them 
that I met Hong Hu Yu was a strong and beautiful woman. Her slender limbs wielded a blade with great finesse, and her strikes were quick as lightning. She could fend off any attack, nimbly moving like a young willow tree in the breeze. I immediately fell in love with her. However, she told me she could never love unless I could best her in combat. And I sucked dick, and I uh, got my ass beat, and uh, I, uh, it, it was... Her defense was bullshit, and uh, it was it was bullshit. I couldn't touch her because, uh, you know, it was bullshit. That was because I had not let yet learned how to pierce a talented foe's defense. I had learned a thing or two since then, such as the effectiveness of throws against an opponent who rarely lets their guard down, and that there are special techniques that break through any guard. But back then, she defeated me and said she had no interest in the week. I left, trained as hard as I could, and eventually returned to face her again. Unfortunately, again, I suck, and I have no friends. <laughs> Whoever passed through, you can show her yourself, and she'll marry you, because she's a lesbian now. Now you take his advice to heart, I left the dojo, and went to scissor my girlfriend. In the back alley. Alright. And now we have to do another training sequence. And with this douchebag. I visited the dojo to find Dorian at the gates, seeing off another visit. Take care, and don't oversell your skills you've learned here. Got it? Yeah, yes, master. Thank you so much for everything. I promise that one day I'll come back to visit. I don't know why I gave him the hillbilly voice. These parting words sound a student bowed and begin trudging down the mountain path, away from the dojo. Sorry to keep you waiting. Back for more training, are you? Well, come on in. When I asked about the man who had just left, Master Yarn told me he was a student who had come from the desert, in the northern reaches of the Ming Empire. On my way home from the romantic defeat at the hands of that lady, a man saved my life in the desert. I'm an old kooky man, I just tell stories all day. The student you just saw came from that man's recommendation. Desert. You reach India from Sichuan. You must head southwest. The desert was in the complete opposite direction. Hmm. What's with that perplexed look? Oh, I get it. Training first, talking later. Well, today I'm going to teach you about guarding and evading. The things that you already know how to do. I was number one in the world for three months straight in Soul Calibur V. You dumb bint. I don't need your motherfucking shit. Alright? I don't need your shit. Alright, evading. When? I wonder if we're gonna have to double tap down in order to fucking evade the fucking attack. Fucking attack. So weak. Come on. Fucking attack me. So weak. Come on. I fucked that one up, that was my bad. Come on! Fucking attack me! Thank you. I just wanna keep attacking him, I wanna beat his ass. I just wanna kill some fucking dudes. Evading high attacks with a fucking, uh... Crouch. I fucked that one up. Oh, you bitch! What was that all about, huh? Oh, it technically does ha count as a fucking high attack. I'll accept that. I'll accept that. I'll accept that one. I don't care. Evading low attacks by uh, fucking going up. I fucked that one up. Can I just wait? Can I just do this? Actually, that is an attack, right? That's an attack. Definitely an attack. All right. They don't do jump attacks. That's not a thing in my repertoire. That's not a thing that I actually fucking do. God damn the lag. 
Is this game just poorly optimized, or is that just... Alright. I feel like it's... Okay. I don't... I don't fucking do jump attacks. I don't fucking do jump attacks! Alright. Alright, listen. I know I'm talking shit, but seriously... I don't fucking do jump attacks! I don't do the jumpy thing, because I don't fucking... I just want to beat this guy. I just want to beat the shit out of this guy. That's a jump attack. That counts as a jump attack. I'm jumping. Come here, you bitch. I've had enough of your nonsense. Gonna beat your ass. <laughs> it's not gonna give me any progress. But I wanted to beat his ass a little bit. Okay. I'll just low attack with a jump attack. That's a jump attack. Ow. Ow, my pants! Alright. Listen. Alright, listen. There we go. Nailed it. I understand what they're saying now. I thought they were... My bad. My fucking bad. Uh, what do they want me to do? Oh, you can... Wait, you can escape? Wait, wait, wait. You can do that? I didn't know you could fucking do that. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't know you could escape. Ah, I didn't know you could do that. Huh. I didn't know you could do that. Also, I have no fucking clothes on now. You broke my whole fucking set. Piece of crap. I have to go get new armor now. Little bastard. Very good. Those are the fundamentals of defense. Your lessons after this will be much harder. I'm gonna need a break after this fucking tutorial. Jesus Christ, it's fucking so in depth. I'll fucking open up a fucking sweatshop with all this defense. Look at all this defense. How much fucking defense? Evading an attack is entirely, entirely is usually the best option. But in a serious battle, you don't always have that luxury. When you're pressed hard by a dangerous opponent, what will you do? Well, I'll teach you some techniques that will help you grasp victory from the jaws of defeat. Alright. Alright. I'm, I'm sure you will. I'm sure you will. Alright. I just want to attack someone. I just want to kill a guy. Um... Then like get back up instantly, yeah. See, I never fucking do that, because I just don't fucking care. Never actually bothered by it. It's not actually a thing that is interesting. A lot of these these moves, it's like, yeah, it's cool that they're in the game, but like I don't, don't I just don't care. A and B, like I just don't have the time to bother. Raise from the ground immediately I push a hand on the ground. I wake up inside. What is that? What the fuck is this? You can raise from the ground immediately guard after your opponent's attacks by pressing A while on the ground. Ah. Oh, so I'll just do this. Yeah. Roll the direction. Yeah. And it's gonna knock me down again. Completed. I love this guy. Completed. That was terrible. God, why'd you just do that? I'll just lay on the ground and put my hand in my face, I guess. Guard impacts. Well, that was terrible. How would you ever guard him back? I just want to fucking fight a guy! Reverse impact is... Uh... Uh... Get 
<laughs> that's pretty funny. Um, X and Y. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> Look at his pants. Dude, what a guy. Look at his fucking shorts. Tried some fucking leopard print boxers. I wear panties, but... Then... Leopard print panties would be nice. After the fight, Granny got a nostalgic look on his face. I wonder if he's going to tell me another shitty story. To be quite honest, I have a habit of accidentally going somewhere entirely different from where I intended. That's how I ended up wandering three days and nights in the Gobi Desert. I was on my last legs when the merchant of a caravan found me. It took me to Kashgar. That's where I met one incredible fellow. His name was Kilich. He was a weaponsmith and one talented warrior. He could fight with any weapon and any style under the sun. In battle, he was relentless, giving his opponent very little opportunity to, to, to attack. He always said he fought to test out the weapons he made, but it was hard to believe he thought of fighting so casually. I never met a fiercer warrior. Only I had known how to deflect attacks when I was on the defensive. Might have been able to put him off balance. Alas, it was all I could do to block his attacks at the time. Before I knew it, I was defeated. You see, you seem to lose to everybody, Trona. Whenever you were in Kashgar, I recommend you go see Kalich. He's an expert warrior, and he'll beat your ass. Warrior Smith, he does not sound like someone I'd like to meet. I decided to keep Trona's recommendation in mind. It doesn't matter, because I can't fucking go anywhere else except the dojo. It's the only place I can go is the dojo, over. Advanced Reversal. Edge. Are we allowed to be done with the tutorial? We've been here for a very long time. You're up early again. Good diligence and hard work are the keys to developing a skilled hand and sound body. Your dedication is admirable. Now, let's get on to your final lesson, finally. I'm talking about the clashes that emerge in the heat of battle, which require you to think on your feet. And then do I get to beat your ass in single combat? Because you're terrible at combat, apparently? Why am I learning from you? You can't even fucking beat these people. You're like, oh, well, I lost to this chick and this guy, and this guy beat my ass. Reversal Edge. Clash. Stalemate. Listen, the same button your opponents are in Clash Reversal Edge related to Stalemate. Um. I'm literally... Okay. I don't understand. Listen, the same button as your opponent during class. After a reversal edge. Wait, isn't that... Is that this? Oh. No, it's this. It's this. Dad. Huh. Class. The initiated class will have the advantage in the second round. They will win. Why do they have to add new mechanics? The initiator of the class will have an advantage in the second round. As they will win in the event of another stalemate. Additionally, their attack. So it's literally like rock, paper, scissors. Like, that is literally what that is. That is literally fucking rock, paper, scissors. Huh. That's literally what that is. That's literally rock, paper, scissors. Unless they just guard. You can also move. Yeah, I've done that one before. Huh, okay, so that mechanic is actually interesting. I actually learned something out of the tutorial. Thank you. Reversal is gonna be revival. Defensive technique. Ow. I don't want to attack, uh, it's a 
That attack is just unblockable. This attack is also unblockable. <laughs> I have to get hit by it and then move. Next perform during reversal is will always be vertical. Use two advantage. I mean, I did that already, but whatever. Okay. Okay. K den. K den. That was a well-fought sparring match. From the flow of that battle, I can see that you're training. So far, the time well spent. Flow, you ask? That's right. Battles ebb and flow, just like the tides. You need to read that flow. Think three moves ahead if you want to win. That's the secret. Speaking of which, remember that merchant caravan that picked me up in the... Oh my god. They ended up hiring me on as a guard, and together we traveled down to the port of Persia. It's a big city, so I figured I could take a ship and it'd bring me back to India. As luck would have it, I soon boarded a trading ship on its way to India, which probably was sunk by a raging tempest right after we left Persian Gulf. For days I floated on a piece of driftwood until I washed up on the shores of Africa. The clothes were tattered and torn, but I still had my weapon, of course. That made natives think I was a pirate. Soon I found myself fighting off a local warrior by the name of Wool Day. I'd like to believe that he we were evenly matched in strength and speed, but Wool Day was Far more experience than I, much like everyone I seem to fight, and get my ass beat by. I like how I'm training you, and I suck ass at fighting. You could read the flow of battle like a book. I couldn't, because I suck. And whenever we clashed, I foolishly tried to pull off the same move time and time again, because I'm trash. That's why I lost, because I'm the worst. Fortunately, I managed to clear out the misunderstanding. Hold and I grew close, and eventually, we swore an oath of friendship. He invited me to his home in Axum. That's where I met his sister. The woman who- I- Okay, you two fucked. Alright. You ever have the opportunity to go to Axum? Be sure to meet Wolf. He's an incredible warrior. And if you wouldn't mind, please tell him I'm extremely grateful for anything he's done for me. And, uh... And, uh... And that puss. Alright. <laughs> 